Hello and welcome to the start of Tiger Woods PJ Tour 2005 for the PJ Tour season. It's time for the second round of the Edgewood Invitational. The first round, we actually matched out our best ever performance at Edgewood. So the standards are high for the second round here. Let's get on with it. Welcome to Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Widely known for incredible skiing, Tahoe also boasts incredible golf courses, most notably the Edgewood Golf Course. This is Gary McCord for EA Sports. My colleague, David Faraday, is with us today and will be calling the action down on the course. Let's send it down to the first tee. Welcome to round two of this PGA Tour event at Edgewood Golf Course. All right, we got a 48 last time, can we match it? It'll be tough. Like I said, it was my joint best performance ever at Edgewood, at least on this so far. I don't imagine how the bean on the other tee there. I thought it was a good score. Let's we'll find out. I mean, this is three yard drive to start the day. We are in a pretty bad spot actually. Gonna cut some power out of the lob wedge. Try and roll it's it down the hill. And it's looking good. That's not too bad. Hard shot given. Oh, cut between two clubs there, but Looking I can take that. On this hole. Should we need a bir birth uh, birthday? What? <laughs> Birdie to start the day. I've done that. Could have done with one less stroke. That was a face back under half. Last time we were great. This time we're terrible. <laughs> oh, great! First hole, and I've let, I've let myself down there. That was poor. Far too hard. If I'm gonna do that, I should just hit it straight. A straightaway par four with a two. Oh, here we go. Simple par four to make up for it. Let's go. Right, our frustrations out on the golf ball and absolutely whack it. Smash it. I'm just speechless after that drive. There we go. Speechless. No, what are you saying? We're doing a 51 yard drive. We're in pitching range. Let's try and pitch this in. That's not to be a flop. Oh, no. No. Okay. Right. Sandwich pitch, but max power boost, I think. Well, came up a little short, but it will make the great. Yeah, that's the best we could do with that, I think. Unless we tried we the risky shot of here. playing a pitching wedge, but with minimal power on the pitch. There we go. Under par for the turn. Similar putt to last time, but this time I make it. Uh, hopefully that putt wasn't a sign of things to come. We're going to win regardless, but I wish that when you, when you set the standard that high, you want to match it again. But It's going to be hard, a, a tough ask, especially now that we've missed the first putt. Really crushed this one. Center cut. Vision for a three yard drive. It's potentially easy to play this one, sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to get onto the, uh, the green, but. We need a, a uh, 84 yard. 84%. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Bad session here, bad session. I told you, once if it's a bad session at the start, it stays bad. If it's good, it stays good. It's how this game works. Uh, for me. And we're being punished for every little mistake right now. Right. Just pitch it, try and get it on the green. Looks Ooh, good. that wasn't Should too bad. Safely on the green. I played it safe there. Only Just took the bird in. We ordered two shots down on, on the last performance. It's a poor session so far. Looking really good. I basically just assumed I was going to make that. <laughs> Thankfully I did. Two shots down. On course for 50. In fact, it'd be more than 50. It'd be like a 52 at this rate. So we've got a couple of chipping eagles. With the prevailing winds I held the cup for too long on a three wood. And we were punished. Right, this time it's another par five, so we've got to try and uh, eagle this hole. Need to get some momentum this is going. Looking very, very good. Gonna hold the left side because the wind's blowing to the right. 363 yard drive. Okay, I'm gonna play it iron kind of left side because it's going to fly right off the fairway plus the wind David this one is right at the flag oh there it is double eagle double eagle that felt a max right the hole I'll take credit for that with a 362 it kind of bounces up the, the far end of the hole there's a 360 spin around the flag into the hole it's a double eagle here we go here we go 
Nice confidence booster right there. That's another ninth ever double eagle with Livingston. Well, it might have been, well, it shouldn't have been a little time generally blow from right. I've been playing him for a good two or three years at this point. I'm going to play a fire. Fire eye, but kind of a bit more to the right. A bit of power boost. If I'm not mistaken, this should find the green. Let's play short. Not a bad shot, but it plays shorter than I thought with it being downhill. This is just it should be a simple put. Don't you think? Kind of left edge. Overdo it with the power. Into the hole. Par for the day. Yeah, that, that double eagle was a big boost for us there. Nice, nice boost. Take in the views from this long and difficult par four. This that long and difficult par four. We'll see about that. Laying for the right side because it is boring to the left. The wind. The long ranger just bombed one. Just bombed one down the fairway. And we should be that close. It'll take the water out of play, really. Yeah, we're not, we're, 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 I think I don't think we even if it hits over it. I mean, technically we are because if it hits the rough, it will bounce into the water, but. That's just gonna fly a lot to the right. This should find the green. Oh, that played well short. That's the way we like so it. So much playing well short. Pay attention, or this isn't going in. I'm gonna play it safe to the target vision. Would have made it. Oh, made a few mistakes today. I don't want to make another. Thirty-one under par for the. I have a target vision, so I might as well use them while I've got them. Been too many times in the past where I saved it and then not needed it and regretted it. So the shortest hole on this course with another very deep green. Right here we got par three. Far man hour forward wind. That's close. What a fantastic That's close! Play. It's hit the flag! Oh, I thought that was in, that was dead on. 32 under for the it, Oh, I thought that was a holding one, that was so close. That, if that bounce is like a yard short, that's into the hole, I thought that was in. I, I legitimately thought that was in, I thought I smashed that one. Oh. A double eagle on the hole in one, same the situation. Safe landing area mad. for this tee shot is left. Okay, we know from last time, we can aim it through the trees. We to hide in the air with the power boost, it'll counter the wind, I think. All you can say is wow after that swing. There we go. How does it look to you, David? About a hundred yards to the flag. It's a song wedge. This should play short, especially with that wind as well. Ooh, it might hit the pin. It did play short, but I got the spinner on. That's a very close approach. This will be seven straight birdies. If it goes in. And it's tapping. Okay, we'll settle things down a bit. We're starting to improve, actually. Proving my sentence of, if I start off badly, I don't improve. Pretty much wrong. Got a double eagle close to a hole in one, and then we're too far away there, either. This long dog leg right calls for two well-placed shots. Hopefully I've not just jinxed it. <laughs> we'll soon find out. Alright, yeah, three wood. Play it high in the air, the wind will stop this one short. We'll stay in the fairway. David, I like the way this one looks. My driver with the draw slash fade is a bit tricky and a bit risky. We have the power to not really need to do that. I'm going to play fire right height. The wind will... a bit to the left, but still on the green. The wind actually was really effective though. I didn't do what I planned, but still eight feet from the pins, not this too bad. This would be an amazing eight straight birdies. Left edge, bit of power. Into the hole. 34 under for the champion. Uh, if I got a hole in one, I'd have been absolutely buzzing. I still have a couple of more chances, but I think that's the easiest Ideal hole in one. Ideal position is right center of the. I need, a, I need like another seven for the target, target, the target, the tracking, the tracking legends, even. Get out the binoculars. You need 90 for Tracking Tiger, but I think 20, 20 for the Tracking Legends. And knowing that I've got at least 200 all time calendar. 
but they don't count. I've got a flop shot. I can play a flop shot and backspin it. Don't be surprised if this one hits the flagstick. I should play short, but so close to the hole, it's a simple birdie. This for a ninth consecutive birdie. It's very easy with the power there to get the pitch wrong, so play a flop shot, play it safe. 35 under par. I think the flop shot was more likely to go in if it did it right than the pitch shot, to be honest. But it's an easy bird, I can't complain. T shot should be placed left center. Right, here we go. We've got to make sure we don't carry this too far. It is uphill. Play it along the right side, it'll fly left. Into orbit should re -enter the Earth's atmosphere somewhere over the side That's basically the, the best that you can play in that situation, because any further be getting rough, really. Can we pitch this? Oh, we can. Maybe it's too far. And again, maybe not. I think we can work with that, actually. It's not the worst shot I've ever Oh, that's over hit. I did over hit when it's 15 this feet uphill, man. For a tenth straight bird. Simple enough put. I think. It should be. I don't know what happened there. Like, we left them right. I don't know. But it's in the, it's in the hole. It's all that matters. Missed the greening regulation, which hurts a little bit, but. You wouldn't normally expect the lob wedge to carry them that much further than what it says, especially uphill 15 feet. Hole 12 is the most difficult par 3 on the course. Club. Right. Six mile an hour front right. I need a power boost to 3 iron. This approach yeah, looks like it to iron. the grain. I thought it would really fly up being downhill and. When facing forward, but this for 11 that's where I would have been better. Yeah, a little slop in this session, but it is what it is. I'll take a vision that just to be safe. This is right on target. Yeah, that's in the hole. A birdie with the target vision. We've only got one left. We've been a bit sloppy today, but. That 48 was a really good score. Trying my best, so to match that was, uh, well, this green set not impossible, but it was a very tough ask. I've not made too many mistakes in the grand scheme of things. It's just that first put was just sucked. It, it did. I can't lie. I can't deny it, can I? Let's be honest. But it's fine. Straight we soldier up. And short. Still beating the AI by loads. That's actually going to fly left off the fairway, I think. This approach looks good. There we go, spin it towards the hole. Seven feet, not too bad. This putt would make it 12 straight birdies. Should realistically be a tap in this. Yeah, that's in the hole. 38 under for the championship. Yeah, I mean, a 16 shot lead, we've got so far to go. I mean,. We're cruising. Taking the views from this long and difficult par four. Right, downhill again. I'm actually going to hit it over the trees. I think I get more distance this way. Pretty big tee shot for such a serious. Hey, it, we've got enough power to get into the, get into pitching range, which is the goal here. I think. A flop shot range. I cut a little bit of power out of it. This should be below the hole, right on oh, the front of the roll. green. I cut. Uh, adjusting your power with this the flop shot's hard, because if you take a little bit out, it can have a big effect birdie. on the distance overall. It's such a short swim. But it should be a tap in. 15 under par there we go. The round. I can finish strong, it's two par fives and a par three. First up is the par four, the last par four of the course. Take a deep breath. You're on the home stretch, and a few birdie chances await. All right, I just go watch out for the bunker near the the, the green, but it's uphill, so we don't really have to worry about the power too much here. We can just full send this. 
Good, fully engorged off the the elevation air, up hill makes sure we don't get to steal far. I basically play the perfect shot, middle of the fairway, towards the end. I can't get more of that one. Could pitch it towards the hole. He's right on target here. I mean, that is a perfect pitch, let's be real. Keep it on the right edge, just gonna slowly roll to the left off the hill. Dead centre. Dead centre. The perfect pitch. Here we go. Making up for some of our earlier mistakes here, which is good. A little sloppy at the front now, but the back nine we smashed it. To be fair, we smashed it since the double eagle for the most part. We're just that path through, really. To be placed just left. Okay, this is going to be a tough eagle, actually. The wind's against it. We need to hit it high in the air to get past the tree. Oh, the tree. Yeah, that'll do. A little short because of the wind, but 333 yards like is fine. 230 yards here. Right, pretty tough shot here with the two iron. We can roll it a bit with the two iron. The shot should find the green. No we need to. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. That's a good shot. Some Six feet. Play to get on here in two. A little miss it there, going to the left, but we can spin that. Two iron can roll quite a bit. It should be a tapping, really. It's tapping that eagle. Of the round. 45. I think we're looking at a 50 here, plus 5, which, which would be about right, actually. 50 is about normal. Take a moment to enjoy the beautiful views and. Okay, but we're going to go for the hole in one, obviously, but it's going to be a tough ask. I play three eyes so I can roll this towards the hole. Oh, this really looks good. Oh no! It's on the green. That's just incredible. I think straight forward spin might be enough to get that to hit the flag. This for sixteen straight. That had, a, that had a slight chance to be fair. If we we're lucky. Hopefully, get the birdie. Yeah, that's in the hole. Forty-four under. No hole in one. We came close, hitting the flag. We hit the flagpole. It wasn't to be, unfortunately, for this session. But we got the double eagle, and that's basically just as good, to be honest. If not better, because it is rarer for me than in it hole in one. But we're not done this yet. Short par five is the best birdie We've got the legendary Hogan uh, put into the water uh, par five from the World Tank calendar. He just put it into the water like a muppet. Oh, I miss it that. A Titanic drive here. Got a bit fortunate there. Completely miss it that on a stick. Play aggressive over the tree, so we need to hit it high in the air. This one is heading in the general direction. Oh, I can't get the eagle. Back. I don't have the distance. Went a little offline. Jumped into the moderate long stuff. Not terrible though. How far will I uh, lob wedge pitch here? Oh, ah, that'll do. Can you believe this would be seven? Disappointed to end on a birdie, a bit lot disappointing. But yeah, fifty-one isn't great. Well, I say it's not great. I say I think what fifty is about what you aim for here. But we smashed the AI. We miles ahead. We had a double eagle, a near hole in one as well. So I can't really moan to be honest. A good session. If that if it wasn't for the first round, I'd have been very happy with that in the end. I could look at them with it, but a little sloppy. But still, still a good score. So next time will be round three, obviously. I'm back at Edgewood. Here's my stats at the end of that round. For anyone that is interested. For now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. So let's play Tagless PGA Tour 2005, the PGA Tour season.